Moldova's new pro-European Prime Minister says her government intends to step up economic reforms and liberalizations, as well as the fight against corruption. The politician who assumed her role last month told Euronews that Moldova is not willing to step up reforms just to please the EU, but because it was demanded by voters. Space. The citizens of Moldova are tired of uh, governments who lie, of politicians who steal, of uh, public services that do not work for the people, of uh, decisions that do not take account of the public interest. Um, and what they have said in these elections is that um, they want to... Uh, they want a government uh, who, who they can trust. Uh, and this means uh, a government that every day takes decision, uh, having in mind the public benefit and not uh, the benefit of uh, a few. Uh, so, uh, you know, this, uh, is this a pro-European, uh, pro, uh, or, or pro-Russian agenda? This is actually a pro-citizen agenda. The Prime Minister also says her government wants to make reforms irreversible as well as making the economy more attractive to foreign investors. So, um, in the 30 years of uh, instability and uh, rampant corruption, uh, the private sector has also become uh, uh, tainted by vested interests. So, uh, what we're looking to do is uh, dramatically uh, reduce barriers to entry. Uh, so, uh, we want to demonopolize fields. The Moldovan Premier told Euronews good governance and the fight against corruption will make the country more attractive, which could also help with the reintegration of its breakaway Russian-speaking Transnistria region. Krista Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.